sleepy or something. What do you mean by tired, then? Kind of exhausted. Are you depressed again, Harvey? I don't want to kill myself. Not every depressed person kills themselves, Harvey. I think it's just important that if you are depressed, you get help or something, you know? And I don't mean to sound insensitive, but if you're depressed, you do end up killing yourself. Yeah, I heard you. And I, I don't want to sound insensitive. Yeah, you don't sound insensitive. Okay, I'll come in today. You come into your shift today? Yeah, I'll come into my shift today. Okay, good. See you in an hour, Arby. Uh, actually, actually, I. I clothing during the wash, we'll find it. And also, we'll save you money because we don't charge as much as other places. It, it, it's just, it's just kind of like, <laughs> it's like you'll find our hidden money, like we'll find and save your coins. No. You know how sometimes you forget about money being in your pocket and it falls out in the washing machine? Yeah, I, it's just kind of like, it's, it's a shady thing to, to say to your customers. You know, it's a strange thing to first hear. when they call us, for Christ's sake. I'd like to stop talking to you.
<laughs> Got the sucker on the ropes, Arby. This close. <sighs> Feeling better? Yes, I am. Yeah? It's okay. Good. Ready to have a productive day. Yes. Yeah. You said you're not depressed. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as in you. Yeah, I'm not depressed. Yeah. Yeah, as in I'm, I'm not depressed. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Why are you so jittery? Hmm? You're jittery. Coffee. <laughs> now. Now there's something about you, like something, something scared you. Yeah, I don't know. There's a rabbit on my property. Yeah? What's it doing? Is, is it like walking around? It, is it still there? Yeah, yeah, it's still there. But it's not walking around or hopping. No, it, it can't hop around. You see, the, the rabbit isn't why I didn't want to come in today. It came after. Okay, I was, and still kind of am, just really tired. Exhausted, I said. I'm exhausted, but the rabbit, it, it isn't, it isn't alive. Did you kill a rabbit, Art? No. No, it was dead when I saw it. I walked outside my house and there was this cowboy man looking at this dead rabbit that was just laying on my roof. And I didn't know what to do because I thought it might have been his rabbit or something. But it was on my roof. I understand your property, but I live under that roof. And there was a rabbit on it? I don't know. Are you okay? Yeah. The rabbit had antlers. I'm fine now, Mr. Kermit. Good. Hey. Do you remember my daughter? I don't remember her name. I'm sorry. It's okay, Rebecca. But you remember her. Yeah, I remember her. Good. Do you remember if you got along with her? I'm asking because she just got over a breakup right now. She, she got along with my brother better. Okay. But he's in California shooting right now, right? I just saw him in a cop. <laughs> I don't know. So, you're the next best thing. At what? Do you mind taking her out on a date? Just for, for your cup of coffee, you say. I'm asking because her last boyfriend, and he was a real douchebag. You know, he smoked. He was rude to me. And I'm worried that she won't be waiting around for another boyfriend. You see, she's kind of codependent, so I would prefer to have her with somebody that... with someone like you. Someone I can trust. 
I don't know. I'm really bad at girls, Mr. Fine. <laughs> Come on. Don't think of her as a girl. What do I think of her as? No. Think of her as someone you're comfortable around. Was that a yes? I didn't say anything. Was that a yes? Yeah. I'm out of coffee anyway. Okay. Hey, excuse me. Uh, I was about to. I was, oh, hi. Hello I'd like there. to file a complaint. Hi there. Hello. I'd like to file a complaint. Yes. Okay. Can I speak to your manager? Can I help you? You're soliciting. Excuse me? Nothing, man. Just go away. No, excuse me? I don't want to do this right now. Tell me, what, what did you just say to me in that car right there? Fine. Fine, I said fuck off. I didn't think you heard it, but I meant it. I stand by it. I still think you should just fuck off. Well, that's very hurtful. Oh, okay. All right, who cares? And also, man, you have a stupid business model. drive through laundry? <laughs> Shut up, 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 shut up. What the fuck's going on? You're not real! Get out of here! You're not real! Are you kidding? I'm out! I don't understand. Where am I? Get in get out of here! Arby, why are you such a fucking goddamn fan? I hate you so much! You and your stupid guts! Alright, see you later, Arby. Get it out!
this is RB. Hi. Uh, I'm calling for, I'm looking for Rebecca. Your dad, if this is Rebecca, your dad, um, your dad, he wanted, he wanted, um, Mr. Garman, he said, come. He told me about how you were codependent and looking into a relationship with, or looking for someone that could give you what you, the attention you need. Um, he said, just, he gave, he gave me your information. He said, give you a ring. My name's Arby. He said, um, he just, he said you like, he, he wanted you, he wanted you to have someone because he doesn't think you're in a healthy spot in, in your life right now. So I'm, I'm calling, calling to let you know that I'm, I could be that light at the end of the tunnel that you've been looking for for a while. Um, you could, we could be together if you like we could go on a date and see how things work out if you're if you are if you if you are beautiful i have i have high i, I have high this is this is RB again I'm calling uh, I think we got disconnected as I was saying my standards are very high when I look for a woman in for lust I'm in in a, in a long-term partnership I'm looking for a woman with very nice long luscious hair preferably the color of black which is this this the the color of the sky at, at 12 which is my favorite time and I'm also looking for a woman with nice ample bosoms Bosom, a night. It has to be ample, or else it won't. And then, um, along with my high standards, I'm looking for wide, birthing hips that would be preferable for childbearing. My, ch my children need the need the best if they were if they were to come into this world. So if you do not have those, then we cannot can, we cannot date. But if you if you if you do match these goals, then I'd be willing to consider dating you and, and and pursuing a future with you again if you have all the necessary traits that i am looking for in a mate we could consider moving in together i currently live in the basement suite of your father's property so if you wanted we could move in together here or we could find a new place that would be preferable um, I'm, I hope you share the same goals and ideals as me. I'm not looking for a political opponent. I'd rather someone that, that appreciates my goals and my values and my views on, on, on current matters in involving society. Um, if you, we'll, we'll talk, we could talk about that once we meet up at a date. We, uh, we could, whenever we could go to wherever you want to go on our if you wanted to meet up at some point on a date you could come over to my uh basement suite or i could come over to yours not necessarily a basement but what whenever if you wanted to again i don't know if you if you understood the first part but if you i do, i hope you are beautiful because it would be a great it would be a very big disappointment if i had to let you go after one date I put a lot, put in a lot of time and effort into my dates, and I hope you, you would, you would as well. So, come looking your best, or we might not, we could have a good future together if you, if you suit my, if you, um, love. You need, you need two things for love. You need an attraction, and you need compatibility. That's one of, that's one of the things I, I'm looking for. My, my the attraction obviously is probably more important than compatibility considering we are designed as primates to to mate with the suitable suitable mate of our choosing so i will need the 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 pre the, what i have mentioned earlier i hope i i hope i hear from you soon uh, this is arby just call this number and i'll pick up whenever you whenever you call okay
Harvey, guess what? I just ran into your brother. What's that? I said I just ran into your brother. Hey, Harvey! <laughs> you look like you're crying, man. I was crying. Buddy, I don't want to hear that. Are you still crying all the time, dude? No way. <sighs> Matthew's gonna ride along with us today. Uh, yeah, he is. Can't have that. <laughs> Go. play last night, time of possession, full two minutes, and they didn't, didn't get a fucking single shot on that. Oh, yeah, that's just fucking pathetic, but you know, that's what, that's what it is uh, when you root for the Canucks, right? <laughs> get a All couple right. more snipers on there, that'd be fucking good for once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you boys sit here for a minute, I'll be back in a minute. What's he doing? He, he buys cigarettes from a, a kid that sells them for a discount. He buys them for his wife uh, from a kid that, that he sells it for a discount because they're covered in gasoline. <laughs> what the shit? Anything to save a few dollars. Do you know his daughter? Who's? Mr. Garments. What about him? Do you know his daughter? Well, I lost my virginity to her. <laughs> Stop shouting, RB. Well, what did I miss? Beth, you had a sexual encounter with your baby oh girl. What the God. fuck? RB, you're such a fucking retard. Why would you tell him that? Mr. Garment, that is a bold-faced lie. Is that true, Arby? Are you a liar? No, with your baby. Your girl, baby. He had it sex. She wasn't a baby, Arby. Not at the time. Arby! Ar You're fired! Wait, what? You're fired, Arby! Why are you firing Arby? Arby, are you gonna let him treat you like that? It's none of your business, Matthew. Get out of the car, both of you. Get out! Previously on CBN's A Cop Did. What are you doing here, Luke? My mom died here. How did she die? She drowned. Well, now you're going to drown. Kill me. 
this one's for you. Thanks, Mom. Good shooting, Private. No! Hard justice and a heaping of broken family ties. This is a cop day. Starring Matt Thompson as Luke O and Brady Johnson as K.I.L. Shut up, you goddamn With Megan. Two L. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Why are you everywhere I go? She's my mom too, dude. Madre Quinto. No way. Senorita. Mucho grande. Why are you at her house and in her RV? Road trip? I'm house sitting, dude. <sighs> oh my god. Do you want to come in here? The the front door's locked and nobody's nobody's home. Why are you inside this vehicle? I just told you I'm house sitting. Why? Mom and Gary are on their honeymoon. They asked me to watch their house. Well, they're gone. Honeymoon? They weren't married before? I guess not. Why was
wasn't I invited? To their wedding? You weren't invited to their wedding? No. When was it? I don't know, a few days ago. About me? Maybe, I don't know. You gotta lighten up. so angry at me, Arb? I'm not. Well, you clearly are. Sibling rivalry. What can I do to win you over? I don't know. I don't know either. When I screamed at you the other day, it was because I was supposed to start dating Mr. Garmin's little baby girl. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. I got flustered because now I can't really even date her. Because my brother's peenie was inside. Whoa! Of Stop it right there. Don't say that. That's true. <sighs> okay. Maybe it's. Maybe it isn't even true. Maybe it's, it's not true. It's not. What? Yeah. I didn't even have sex with her. I lied. I lied to you. Matter of fact, I am. Well, we're like twins. <laughs> we are twins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Answering machine. Uh, hey, Rebecca. It's, uh, it's, it's Arby. Um, I, uh, I'm calling, calling to let you know that, um, um, we, we can date now. <coughs> My brother, Matthew, he said, 
you two did not have, you didn't have peony sex, so now would be good to date. Um, uh, your your dad, Mr. Garment, your father, he, uh, he he said that you were looking for to date. For he was you looking, you were looking for a relationship, um, and um, I called you before, and uh, but now it's, I don't, I know because you didn't have peony sex, so you uh, we couldn't date. Okay. All, all right. In the pines, in the pines, where the sun never shines, you'll shiver when the cold wind blows. There's a grave in the pine where the sun never shines. There's a grave that's shaded with the pine. My true love lies in a narrow grave in the pines where the sun never shines. She's snow lies deep on my true lover's grave In the pines, in the pines, in the pines So Arbs, Arby's, Arby's. Yeah. What have you been up to? When? I don't know. For the last little while. I don't know. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in probably like. Six years? Probably. Okay. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. So what have you been up to in that time? What have you spent the last six years doing? Not much. Not much, dude? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. So do you have any friends? You you hang out with any of your friends there, Arbs? I don't really have any friends. None? No, no friends? Zero? Ah. Did you have any pets? <laughs> Do you currently? I don't know. Let's start from the beginning. Um. No, not really. We had cats, right? Yeah. I remember our cat. And mom got a few new ones I saw. Yes. As a little boy, we had cats. As I got older, I stopped liking cats. They always need food and water. <sighs> <laughs> so do people. 
Yes, but I don't really like people all that much either. What do you mean? People kind of feel bad to me. They make me feel bad. Like, they bully you or something? Or what, my dude? No. No, to me, people are kind of just like pets, I guess. Like bugs. To me, seeing a person is just kind of like seeing a spider hiding under my bed. That sounds lonely. Um... Like, most people I encounter are people I don't necessarily hate or anything. And I definitely don't really like them either. I'm in the middle. But, generally, if I have an encounter with someone that I'm not going to be indifferent towards, I'm generally not going to like them. It's like I'm either going to feel completely nothing towards someone, or I'm going to absolutely despise them. There's no in-between or another side. It's... I don't even need to acknowledge someone's existence, or they're going to really make me mad. And there's so many people who just, quite frankly, piss me off. Like the other day, I was working with Mr. Garment, and this customer approached us, who Mr. Garment had tried to sell the, our business to the, at an earlier day, and because we were parked so close to his house, he was complaining about us about soliciting, and it just made me so mad. It wasn't because he said that we were soliciting that I got mad, I guess. It was just the way he said it. He had such an attitude towards him, and he was just so timid in the way he was complaining. It's like he'd never been in an argument before, and he decided that we were the people he wanted to try it out on. And so, he, he came up to me and he grabbed my shoulder and he scared me. And he demanded to speak to my manager and Mr. Garment got out of the car and they started arguing about something. I don't really remember what, I didn't really have a direct place in the argument. All I can remember is that I just got really angry within a few seconds of the customer approaching me and all I wanted to do was, all I could imagine was just grabbing him by the head and driving my thumbs in behind his eyeballs and then just bashing his head into the ground until it cracked and that's literally all I could think about so I had to leave and that's how most people make me feel most people that actually make an impression to me or just make me want to do that to their heads just thumbs in the eyes and bash and bash and bash until they break. Is that normal? Pardon? Is, is that okay? That I think like that? Do, no, do normal people think like that? Yeah, buddy. That's normal.
Hey, can I stay in the RV with you, Matthew? Hmm? In the RV. Mr. Garment... Mr. Garment turned off my power and I'm basically yeah, evicted. Um... Yeah, you can stay there. With you? Yeah. Wow. This'll just be like old times. Just like old times. Night-night, Matthew. Early burn catches the worm. Matthew! Matthew!
Who's there? Hello, Arby. Come with me. Hello, Arby. Hello. First things first, Rebecca isn't coming. Second things first, Rebecca didn't write those letters. Mr. Garment did. She doesn't want anything to do with you. Who doesn't? Rebecca. You should have seen this coming, Andy. You left her way too many inappropriate voicemails for there to be anything between you. She got my voicemails. Boy, did she. And so did Mr. Garment. Everything about how you wanted her to be beautiful and not be fucked by your brother, both of them got that. You called their landline. What about this letter I received? Get it through your skull! Mr. Garman had me write that and I had my assistant deliver it to you. Rebecca didn't write that, we did. And in case you haven't caught on, I work for Mr. Garman now, I'm his assistant. And that little boy works for me as my assistant. We're both into stealth, so you probably didn't even notice us, or him sneaking around. I never had an assistant when I worked with Mr. Garment. Touch shit. Touch shit? I meant... I meant tough, but either way it doesn't matter. Listen, leave Rebecca alone and stop harassing her. That's what we called you here for. And you better get it through your little retard brain, Arby. Okay, we're done here? I don't know. We are. We're done here. Oh, and Arby. Tell your brother to stop spouting bullshit. He's not in Hollywood anymore. What do you mean? I don't know what he told you, but Rebecca says he fucked her back in eighth grade. And while he didn't cry during or after, he sure as shit did before.
I um I kinda kinda shot the bed there, Arps. Our relationship bed, I mean. You're just like everybody else. I should have told you before I left. I guess I just shouldn't have left in the first place. I'm sorry. You fucked her. What? I loved her and you fucked her. What are you talking about? You need to stop spreading around your shit, Hollywood man. Arby, you need to give me context of what you're saying. You don't get it, do you? Get what? Oh my god, man. You're just like everybody else, Matthew. You're just another pest. The customer man told me everything. You're a liar. You've disrupted and disturbed me. Is this about Rebecca? Look, I don't know, I'm sorry. No, you're not, you rat horny bastard. I am, Arby. I, I don't know. I just wanted to bond with you. You had sex and cried. Hey, what the fuck, man? What are you talking about? You don't know me. You don't know me. <sighs> Ah, Arby, ah, oh, fuck. Dude, I think I really hurt my pack, man. Ah, oh, it's too painful to bear. I can't, I can't deal with that, man. Oh, dude, you need to help me. Stop, dude, help. Fuck, ah. Oh. <laughs>
Um, what's hanging? What's hanging there? What? You said it's hanging. What's hanging? Um, uh, is this Matthew? You bet. You betcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, why are you calling, man? It's it's movie time. What do you, my dude. What do you mean by that? It's movie time for us movie boys. What's movie time? You want to watch a movie? I want to make one. Oh, yeah? You want to make a movie? Yes. My dude, I want to make a movie. <laughs> my man. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, can you, like, can you give me more details on it? It's a lot like a cop did. That's why I think you'll like it. It's about our same characters from a cop did. I don't remember their names, but it's about them, and it's called Adopted, because in te instead of a cop being an adopted cop, this time around, I'm, uh, I'm an adopted doctor by day, by day, and then by night, by day, and I'm a doctor, I'm an adopted doctor by day, and then by night, I'm a cop again, or a bounty hunter, or something, either way, I kill bad guys, and so do you. said this was Matthew Thompson. Yes, my dude. Brady's. I don't know, dog. <clears throat> I eat rapist for breakfast. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to go, Matthew. Okay, that's okay, my dude. Get back to me whenever, my dude. I love you. Brady Johnson didn't commit. What? I can't ask him. He fired me. What do you mean? No way! He's even worse than Mr. Gunn. Dang it. What was that? What do you want? I'm, Ma I'm Matthew Thompson, my dude. Don't do that, my dude. Stop it, please. No! I am Matthew Thompson. Dude? Okay. What do you want? Can I have my mask back, dude? Yes. Why are you wearing a mask of yourself? What's that? Never mind, forget it. What do you want? What do you want? Jeez. I would like to make a movie. What? Can I come in, please?
No, you may not. But I, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in so many days, dude, my dude. I don't, I don't care. I'm so hungry and I'm so thirsty. And I haven't had my morning cup of coffee in so many mornings. And I don't even think you're supposed to talk to people before having your mor morning cup of coffee. Those are the rules. And I just haven't been able to have, I haven't, I haven't been able to follow oh the rules. Oh my and god. Fine. Those are the rules. No, they're not. But if you have to come in, I guess you could have like a cup of water or something. I mean like right now, Jesus, what do you It's true. Well, I don't want to be in a movie with you. I loved, I, I rape people and I love rape. Don't rape me. I'm not gonna let you rape that. I eat rapists for breakfast. I won't let you have the satisfaction. If only my wife would, I love my wife, if only she was still alive, I would love that.
Hi. I'm Jake Goodman from the show A Cop Did. You might remember me from A Cop Did. I'm in a new show called A Doc Did. And it's about a doctor who doesn't play by the rules. By the he, He's a doctor by day, but at the night time you bet your bottom dollar that he is a cop. My love, Rebecca, you shouldn't have died. Our souls were intermixed, combined. We were to have child. Love me, Rebecca, like you once did on that famous night. Doctor, baby. Flashback when Re before Rebecca was raped and killed. Oh, Rebecca, I love watching the sports with you and having. We're gonna have a baby after this. We're gonna have a big old family, Rebecca. I'm just glad there's no rapist left to rape you. <laughs> oh shit! I won't let you rape Rebecca <laughs> anymore. You'll never stop. Evil I'll do her like me. Stop me from raping her. her. I'm gonna touch you won't her. You won't get to touch your sweet you. bosoms, or Apple. Take it off. Oh, no, you're too get strong. Get away, you evil I'm dude. You're gonna rape her. Oh, God. No. Oh, no. You I'll should stop raping her. Rape. God fucking damn it, Rebecca. I wish you weren't dead. If only you hadn't been raped and murdered. Ha <laughs> ha You see that, kids? Now you know that if you grow up to be a rapist, Mr. Hero here is gonna come and he's gonna hit you and kill you. And you're not gonna be a, you're not, you can't escape my wrath. I'm a hero of this world and rapists, they're not even gonna rape people anymore after I'm done with them. I will, I'll avenge you, babe. I'll, I'll stop that rapist from ever raping again, Rebecca. And I'll make sure he doesn't hurt you ever again, Rebecca. I HATE RAPE! Today we learned a lesson about not to rape. We shared a, a laugh and we cried a bit. But at the end of the day, there's no more rape. Now we break it down. I'm gonna show you what not to rape. If uh, if you wanna get down with me, that'd be alright, cause there's no more raping. This isn't what I wanted. I never wanted the fame.
meet me out front of your family's home at midnight tonight. Sit in the driver's seat of your van, and I'll get in and join you. Then we can talk for your safety. I think this is all I need to say. The date today is September 24th. This is RB. I used to work for you. Hello? Hey, RB. How you feeling? Not good. Oh? Why is that? You've been after me. You know what you've done. You are an unprofessional worker, and you faced the repercussions because of it. Shut up. Did you see my tie? I was always professional. You harassed Rebecca. I was in love with her. Is she inside? That is my family home, as you demanded. Is she inside? Yes, Arby. I'm still in love with her. <laughs> what? No, you're not. Yes, I am. How could you possibly know if you do or don't love someone, Arby? I don't get it. Exactly. <laughs>